order to access the MyESIG website, you'll need to go to www.myesigpartners.com. Essentially, this site is going to allow you to get the corporate discount that Origami Owl has arranged for us. You'll see all the different private corporate accounts that are available and click on Origami Owl. And from there, you want to click on the orange Get Started, click here to begin button. Next, if you're near you are a new customer, you'll click on Corporate Accounts and then choose Origami Owl. And it's going to show you basically an example of the template that Origami Owl has built for us in eSig. You'll go ahead and select that template. And it is $39 per year or $7 per month. Obviously, the per year is basically half price than the per month. So I would recommend if you plan on being with Origami Owl for a while, and I hope that you all are, that you go with the annual subscription. But if you just want to try it for a month, there is the option of choosing it just for one month. And you can see you can select between those two options here. So essentially, you'll want to go through, fill in all of your information along with your credit card information, and then choose your username and password. And once you're finished with that, you'll come down and click on Submit, and that'll take you to the next page. And once you've entered all your information, your confirmation screen will come up, and it'll say, thank you for your order. Welcome to my eSIG. Basically, have all of your information here. You can get a copy of your transaction receipt if you'd like right here. Of course, it does say that you can print those anytime. And once we click on continue, <clears throat> it's going to show you some eSIG uh, video tutorials, but of course you're already watching this one, so feel free to watch that one if you'd like. Uh, but hopefully the one that I'm giving you will be enough information. And from there, you can start to edit your eSIG signature by clicking on each one of these lines and buttons and start to edit them. So we'll start with name. And it's not a requirement that you type in all caps. So you could do lowercase if you like that look. Personally, I do like the all caps look. In addition, I've worked really hard to get the director and I'd like that included. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. The nice thing about eSig is that you can constantly come in here and update and change your signature. So as you climb the ranks, you can go through and put in you know, designer or leading designer, team leader, etc., and change that so that way everybody kind of knows where you are and how much work you have put in to building your team and getting promoted. The second line automatically populates with independent consultant. Obviously, we are not consultants. We are designers. So we're going to change that. And then I always like to put in my designer number as well. So independent designer. Save that line. Next, you have the cell phone. And I always like a little bit of caps, makes it pop a little bit more on the page. And email address, I'll make it match everything else. And fax is an interesting line. I don't have a fax machine. I'm not sure many people do, but I'm going to go ahead and give them one more opportunity to visit my replicated website by listing it on my eSig. All right, and next, each one of these buttons is hyperlinked so that in your signature, your recipients of your emails will be able to actually click on these buttons. But we've got to make sure that they are correctly linked. So we're going to go ahead and put in our replicated website for the shop button. The host button, I actually like to go to Origami's page, my Origami page that is, and pull the exact link off of that and so that way it has all the information with free product, what's going on. If the hostess rewards change, I don't have to change the link. Hopefully this link will stay active and uh, therefore my signature will stay active. So we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste that in. Save the changes. Join. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to go over to join our team. And I actually like them to go through the whole process. So let's go back one and click on join our team and this walks them through so they can click on join our team and they click on the opportunity they kind of learn more about it they click on tools for success they learn more about what's in the kit and then they apply from that point so instead of just taking them directly to this page i like them to kind of go through the process so they can a little learn a little bit more about origami owl and what they're actually jo joining excuse me so i will go ahead and copy and paste that link save it. 
The catalog button doesn't really make sense to me. I'm not sure what you would set that up for other than maybe redirecting them back again for a third time to your Origami Owl replicated website. But I'm going to go ahead and delete that button. But I do want a button down there. And what I want to be able to do is link to the blog we have. So I'm going to change this name to blog. And I'm going to link it to our blog. Now, if you had a separate website, a different blog, or if you just wanted to create a different button down here, that's how you would do it. And then you just click and drag to move it back over. So now I have shop, host, join, and blog. Facebook, pretty easy there. Let's go ahead and link them to my Facebook page. Okay. I don't have Twitter or Pinterest set up for my Origami Owl, and so that people don't get frustrated by clicking them and have nothing happen, I'm going to go ahead and just delete those buttons. There we go. And delete. So there we have it. Basically, my name, my rank, my independent designer number, cell phone number, email, my replicated website, and then I know that each one of these buttons is now set up to link my email recipient to some point in my origami owl business so i'm going to go ahead and click on save changes and wait for it there we go so the cell phone number came up correct my email came up correct everything else looks good once you click on install eSig, it's going to give you a variety of different directions based upon your email application i won't go through that process because obviously there's 15 different ways to install it based upon what email application that you are using. Um, but it is pretty self-explanatory from here. Uh, I will be creating a second eSig Advanced video. Um, in that video, I'm going to teach you how to change this picture into a static graphic, and then even change, change this to another animated GIF so that you can see pictures rotating through but they won't be these pictures that are currently here. They'll still be origami out pictures, but just maybe more updated ones. So I hope that you'll watch that video and enjoy it as well. As always, it's been a pleasure working with you, and I wish you continued success and best of luck in your origami owl business.